My name is Marie Da Silva and I'm at the Bonfire Heights. I heard about you from Lane Hill, who is a friend of Darius. And uh, she, she came in and asked if I could come and speak. Uh, and Darius was very interested. I sent him a profile of my work. I'm a CNN hero of 2008 uh, and uh, was invited to come here. And I'm just baffled at the experience that I've had here um, in Monterey at Bonfire Heights. There are stories from every angle um, of just compassion, of people caring for each other, of people uh, caring about the environment, about our children, um, just everything the world needs um, to be a better place happened it, in this one place, in this one occasion. So uh, uh, it's, uh, I came with my story about what I'm doing in Africa, uh, helping uh, children uh, who are orphaned, orphaned by AIDS, giving them free, free education, food and nutrition. And uh, I shared the story, but the other stories that I heard um, just touched me really touched me about what uh, these other people who are, who are here, who were here, um, had to say about their work that they're doing uh, to just make this world a better place. I'm honored to have been here, but I'm going away a different person. Ideas and the stories that I heard um, have changed me in a way. Uh, today, the story closed by uh, Mr. John Robbins, who talked about his father. And I am somebody who's seen my father die. Um, and the same way his father, he was there when his father was dying. But his father left with the word love. And that is a beautiful thing for me to, 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 to experience. They've been uh, people like Chelsea, who has been in this accident and she's in a wheelchair and where I'm coming from the children feel that they it's the end of the world for them because there are some children in my school who are living with AIDS and a lot of children who have seen the parents die of AIDS and they think it's the end of the world but when looking at Chelsea and listening to a story my first instinct was can Chelsea come to Malawi to Africa to be able to tell her story so that our children in Africa don't feel that this is the end of the world for them. Um, there is a solution, there is help, there is love, there, there, is, uh, um, there is hope. And that's what uh, Chelsea taught me today. And that lesson I'm gonna take back to Malawi. I'm actually taking back a lot of lessons from here back to Malawi. This wisdom that I've, I've gained is going to go back to the 400 orphans that I, I am uh, taking care of in Malawi at my school. Uh, I'm going to stand up there at assembly and talk to them and tell them what I've experienced here. And I'm going to tell them to try to, to, gain, to gain the confidence and the wisdom in them. Because once you have that, then you can just soar in life. Whoa.